Well, my organization, Positive Money, has been outside the banking of today, demonstrating and making two demands. Firstly, that they don't raise rates. Uh, this is the wrong tool for tackling inflation, and it will deepen the cost of living crisis, as, as your listeners and, and viewers are, are saying. And secondly, that the government implement a windfall tax on banks who are, you know, the top winners from these rate hikes and who have been making billions um, off the back of them. You know, we know that tackling inflation currently isn't straightforward. There are system level challenges like the impact of fossil fuel prices, of climate change on food prices. But that doesn't mean we should be responding by using the wrong tools, which which rate hikes are. And, you know, will will deepen the, um, the crisis for many households across the country. But I mean, some economists are saying, you know, this needs to happen. It's short term pain, long term gain. But. How badly would you say people have been struggling with these interest rate hikes? And it's not just that. You know, we've got the cost of living crisis. Things are going up everywhere you look. So what we're seeing is, I think, about 1.4 million households whose disposable income looks set to fall by about 20 percent. And that's likely to you know, bring the UK economy into a recession, maybe even a deep one. And this idea from economists that what we need is a recession to bring down demand you know, isn't correct. When we look at what's driving inflation, the Bank of England governor himself has said that, that it's mainly energy prices. And we've seen those coming down, which have brought um, inflation down to an extent. Then, you know, it's not straightforward. That doesn't mean we should be using the wrong tools. Rate hikes will not bring um, interest rates down and they may deepen, a, a, you know, push us into a recession. And at the same time, we're seeing banks who, who made 80 percent higher profits in the first half of this year. I think about 30 billion pounds. That's 80 percent higher than 2022. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be implementing a windfall tax similar that we've seen in the, the gas and oil companies also benefiting from this cost of living crisis. A, a tax of around 35 percent could bring in 20 billion uh, to the government, which can help support households who are really struggling right now.